dynamically add or remove input fields in PHP with jQuery. This post explains you about how to dynamically add or remove input fields in PHP with jQuery. With add more button we are added input box and with remove button, we delete it. All the input box represent to array called name. On click to submit button Ajax request goes to add name.php. Here first of all we remove all the empty value from the name array and add value into database. I am using one database table here called tbl name. There is two field one is id and second is name. This is my simple HTML page. In this first I create one form with name add name and did is add name. In this form I define one table with a dynamic field. In table I define one table row. In this table row there is two column. In first column I define one text box with name is name with array for insert more than one name. I also define placeholder and class name form control and name list. In second column I define button with name add it is name and button text is add more. After table I define one button for form data submit with name submit, it is submit and value is submit. Now I started writing to query code. In this first I define i is equal to 1. First I want to add dynamically text box with remove button HTML code. For this I write to query code 1 button with it is add on click event. In this function first I increment value of i for dynamic html field did. I want to append html code in table with a dynamic field. For dynamic html code I simply copy upper table row html code and pass here. In this code I define table row with id with name row with dynamic 1 and 1 also define button id with this dynamic i value and change remove button class name with btn remove for jQuery purpose. Now I want to remove dynamic text box for this I want to write query code on button with class btn remove on click event.
In this code first we want to get id of button, because id of button is same as the id of table row, but only difference is table row id is start with row text but number of both id is same. So we can easily remove that row from table. Now I simply remove table row on the basis of this id by using removed query method. Now I write query code for insert data into database. I write query code on button with its submit on click event. In this I use Ajax function call for insert data without page refresh. In this function first parameter is url with name name.php. Second parameter is method with post method. Third is data, in this parameter I use serialize method for all form data into array. And last is success for display output and reset form. Now I create one PHP page with name name.php. First I make database connection. After making database connection, first I count number of value in array. If number is less than zero then it display message please enter name. If number is greater than zero I make one for loop for fetching all array values and it check it has some value then it enter that data otherwise blank data will not be enter into database. Now I make SQL query for insert data. After I execute this query by using miscly query function.
Now see the output. It inserted data without any error and data store into database also. Thank you for watching this video. You can also subscribe my YouTube channel or you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow me on Twitter.